It's not working. And it's working. Okay. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. How are you guys doing today? I told you I'd do a video series, and so I'm going to start doing a couple of videos. I need to put a disclaimer up front and let you guys know I'm not a pastor. I'm not a preacher. I'm not a theologian. I have not gone to seminary school. Um, none of that. I have no formal training. All I have is I've read the Bible several, many times, and I'm looking at the world and what's going on in the world and applying it to the Word. And this is, anybody can do it. And so everything that I'm putting out is from straight from Scripture, and it's my view on it and my opinion on it. Now, I may be wrong, but that's okay. But I just want to put this information out because I keep getting this really strong feeling that things that I'm seeing, and I'm not the only one, there's hundreds of thousands of people seeing the same thing, maybe even a million. Um, who, who, who knows, but uh, I watch other videos and read the comments. Everybody sees the same signs. So I just wanted to do these quick videos and just lay out some stuff for you. And every bit of this is researchable. You can go and you can look it up yourself. You can see um, how it applies to Scripture, read the Bible Scripture, or you can go find the videos and the news reports of what's going on around the world. And the real unfortunate thing about America is that we've been insulated from the rest of the world. Um, uh, I had the unique opportunity of joining the Army, and it was at a late age. I did, went in at 37. But what they gave me is they gave me a, a, a view of the cross-section of the United States and the different opinions, because I, I knew people from almost every single state uh, in the two units that I was in. And so a lot of different opinions were put out there. And what um, I noticed is that people that were fresh out of basic and coming into the military had no clue what was going on around the world. Now I had already done a lot of studying up to that point, was watching the rest of the world, but I mean not as much as a lot of people. So when I deployed to Kuwait and then to Iraq, I got to see firsthand what goes on over there and how the mindset is and how people think and how they react to different things and it puts a lot of things in perspective especially when you lose people that you care about when you're over there I lost people back here back home and I lost friends out there guys that I served with um, so you get a unique perspective on the world um, I, I highly recommend if you're able to travel go travel see different areas of the world because when you get into those different cultures it, it shows you more about the world and what goes on out there and then when you come back home and look at how things are here in America then you know you, you get a new perspective so we're very insulated we don't get to see a lot of the things that happen um, even in my own church that I go to I mentioned things that happen a day or two prior and the people don't even know hey, they, I've never heard that they don't have no idea what I'm talking about and and that's with a lot of people um, most people I know have no idea uh, even with the information age the way it is and social media the way it is and all this easy access we carry a, I have a cell phone right here with stuff on it we carry a computer in our pockets and we can see everything in the world real time people don't know what's going on and that's why people like me uh, watchmen and um, pastors that are teaching eschatology which is a study of Bible prophecy in the world are putting the word out and making these videos it's not to cause fear it's not to cause any issues or to scare anybody is to bring to light what's happening because in the Bible Jesus said watch and pay attention to the signs other that way you don't get caught unawares by things that are evil and you don't recognize them as evil because you're not looking for them so you know those of us who have been given uh, the ability to discern these things from the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit gives gifts to everybody and, and they're different we're looking and we're seeing these things and we're at the time now where the signs are coming together where we're very close to a major world-changing event, um, be it cataclysmic or be it socially. Well, we've already gone through social changes. Everybody's, everybody's seen that. But this is going to be something that's going to be worldwide, and a lot of us see it, and we're able to go straight to Scripture and just check off the list, bam, 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 all through Bible prophecy saying all this stuff has happened. And it's clear. It's not like it's, well, let me interpret it. It's like you can read it and you can see it. There's no fuzzy area in between 
So with that out of the way, and my disclaimer out of the way, I just want to throw some information out there. You do with it what you want, but this is just to make you aware of what's going on. Because I, I've got the feeling, in, in this video I'm going to talk about the mark of the beast. I've got this feeling that a lot of people don't see what's getting ready to happen. Because in my own church, uh, there are people in there, and these are Christians who read the Bible every day. And they believe that what's coming isn't the mark of the beast. So let me go over a couple of scriptures real quick because there's tons of them in the Bible about it. I'm just going to do a few and then I'll hit a couple of things I have written down here and, and give you some information. All right, so in 1 John 4, 1, 21, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world And I can't get the rest of the passages up. So I'm going to give just the, the bullet passages as I got them here. Um, so you got a lot of people that are going to give you different information. A lot of people are going to give you wrong information. Bounce it off the Bible. If it doesn't match, walk away. Simple. Uh, Revelations 12, 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make more war with the remnant of her seed. And that's us that believe and are watching. Which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Revelations 13, 1, 18. It's going to be 13, 1. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon the heads uh, the names of blasphemy. These are going to be kingdoms that are going to come up. Let's see. Let me get to where it's talking about the mark, because I'm getting a little off track. Okay, Revelations 13, 16. And he causes causeth all, him, he being the Antichrist, both great and small, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand and their foreheads. Now, catch something here. I want you to see something. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. That word, you, you don't think that till two-letter word means something, but it's important because a lot of people have this idea, and I had it a long time ago until I've been given this new information, uh, since Christmas that it's just going to be a tattoo or it's going to be a stamp or it's going to be a little barcode or something like that well first of all the devil is a lot sneakier than that and he's smart he's called the great deceiver for a reason and he knows that if suddenly there's a, a, thing, a place in the world where they say hey you got to take this tattoo on the back of your hand or your forehead that's going to trigger memories because everybody's heard about this whether you believe in Jesus Christ or in God or not whether you're a Christian or not. Everybody's heard about this. Well, it's going to trigger a memory. And that could cause somebody to say, well, hold on, no, I don't want that. L let me not do I know what this is because I've heard about it. Well, Satan wants nothing more than to get as many Christians as he can away from God. So he's going to be as underhanded as, he's, as he can to deceive as many as he can into taking this mark. Now, as we go, you'll see how this ties together. Um... Revelations 13, 17, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And of course the number of the name is 666. That's a, another video. Um, well, I may actually have that in my notes, but we'll talk about that at a different time. So you can go through Revelations. There's just tons of them about this mark. Um, in Revelations 14, and a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or his hand. Worship and receive. So what this mark is, is it's a two-part system. The first part is already being activated in the world right now. If anybody has heard anything about what's going on in Sweden or in um, Norway, uh, there's five different companies here in America doing it. China has already got it implemented. It's the RFID chip. I already know what you're going to say. Oh, the RFID chip's not it. I've been told that it's not it. And I've had a lot of people give me a lot of grief over this. Well, I'm going to show you something that's going to show you this is the first part of this system. The second part is worship. But the first part is this chip. So, let's see. So, many religions uh, throughout the ages have had the, a brand or a mark. And any time they do it, like way back when, 
they tattooed. And even now today, there's tribes that still tattoo themselves. Well, here's the thing with that, is that when they did it back then, you can go look this up. When they did that, it was a mark within the skin. It was an indention, an impression. Or you'll see it in Africa, a lot of the tribes will have all the little marks all over them and stuff like that as scars. That's a mark. And if you look up the word mark in, I believe it's Greek or Latin, and the definition of that word in that translation means to cut into or to open or to slice into. You can look all that up yourself and, and see that for yourself. So right off the bat, what we're seeing is we're not seeing a stamp or a tattoo. Because, I mean, who wants to have a tattoo on their forehead? Well, nobody. Even if it's an invisible tattoo. You know, you got to go through and have that big old red mark on here while it heals. And um, people are too vain for that. Especially in Hollywood and your supermodels and that. So it's got to be something that they're going to take that isn't going to show. And it isn't going to uh, mess with their looks or, you know, them having to walk around with this big glaring mark on their forehead or anything like that. And the devil knows this. And he plays to that vanity. That's why the RFD, RFID chip is part of the process. It's the first step. It's, the, it's a big step. So let's go hit some scriptures again. Uh, Revelations 14, 11, And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever. And they have no rest day or night, who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. That RFID chip, um, there's actually... Um, a co-creator of that chip and he's no longer one of the co-creators of it um, but he became a Christian because he was shown what he was doing and it shocked him and scared him and he goes around you can look it up on YouTube there's videos of him telling people don't take this this is the mark don't take this thing and something that he showed um, here there's one scripture I don't have it readily available but there's one scripture where it says that um, there's going to be a grievous sword that's going to come up on their right hand and on their forehead well this chip the way they install it is it goes right here right on this right inside this little fleshy part of your hand so you don't feel it in there it's not in the way you can't break it or anything like that or right at your hairline right up underneath the skin right here because the battery that's inside this thing, and the co-creator says this whenever you see the videos of him talking, the battery in it is a lithium battery. And like there's a bunch of parts inside this little tiny grain of, grain of rice. But the battery charges itself through the body's raising and lowering of the temperature. And um, they said that the, this part of the hand, on the right hand, and this part of the forehead changes temperature more than anywhere else in the body. And it's the easiest to put it on because it doesn't mess with nothing. You can put your hat on, doesn't mess with it. You can do work with his hand, doesn't mess with it. It's easy. So what I noticed is now that the people are getting the chip, there's a lot of people getting it. I think almost all of Sweden now is, is chipped. And I think all of China is chipped. If they're not, they're about to be finished with it. But what they're doing is they're getting it both hands. That's part of the deception. Oh, well, the Bible says just right hand and forehead. It doesn't matter. It's, if it's it, you got it. Even if it's both hands and you got it, you got it. You've taken the first step to going down that path that's going to get you to worship the beast. So, um, let me get to my notes here. So, um, what's happening is they're advertising this as a new way to pay. And you can go up to your phone, you can put your phone over there, boop, scans it. Walmart is actually... A, Probably, I think it's already opened a store that's cashless, and you scan your phone, or if you have the chip, every single credit card machine that where you put your credit card up in there with the little chip on it, if you have the RFID chip, you can hold it up there and it'll scan it. Because there's that little little signal, it's like a little Wi-Fi signal, right under where your card goes. Well, you can hold that RFID chip there and it'll read it. So the system is in place. They all, they've already decided that they're going to do this. And people in droves are taking this because it's the latest, greatest new technology. This is part of the deception Satan's using. As long as you got your face on this phone, you're not able to pay attention to what's going on around you. That's what he wants. That's why he, he makes all this cool stuff and all this cool technology makes it to come out. Because it keeps you distracted so you don't see what's getting ready to happen to you. 
and I'm putting this video out and other people have done the same thing trying to tell you to be wary of these things. Now I'm not telling you not to take it, but I'm telling you not to take it. It's this is part of this is the first step getting into this because in the in that one revelation passage it says you will not be able to buy or sell without the mark. Now even before it talks about the the beast uh, it says that again in another Re Revelations pas passage that you won't be able to buy or sell or do any commerce without this mark. Well, they, in order for them to completely implement the RFID chip system, they have to collapse our current system. And that can be from power grid shutdown. Um, North Korea and Russia both have the big giant EMPs that will take out a country now. Uh, EMP strike drop, uh, collapses the system. And then they say, hey, hold on, guys. Because they'll let everybody suffer with no internet for a while. And they'll say, hey, we want a new system, fix the system. And when everybody's panicking, they'll come up and they'll say, we have a system, it's already in place. We'll put the chip in there, and you guys, in every, no cash, no nothing, all your debts wiped out. And everybody's going to go, whoa, hey, that's great. And they're going to go for it. Because it's going to be cool. And everybody's going to be like, this is great. This isn't the sign of the beast. Well, guess what? It is. Because it's a two-step process. First, you get in the system. And it's all digital, it's all biometric. Everything plays off of that. You get into the system. Then, once they have you in the system, when the Antichrist shows his face at, in the middle of that seven-year tribulation period, and he says, you have to do this, you have to worship me. Well, you're already in the system. Most, Almost everybody's going to say, okay. They just don't care, because they're not paying attention. And other people who know what that is and have taken it, and they're like, oh my God, I took the mark. The Bible says they're condemned. Now, I'm not saying that there's a way out. But you can go in the Bible and read it for yourself. I, I, part of this is I want you, I'm not giving you guys all the information because I want you to go look it up for yourself. Because when you look it up and see it for yourself, it means more to you than just having somebody tell you all this stuff. But I'm going to give you enough to get you started. Go look it up. Go look at the videos. Go watch the videos. YouTube is full of them. And you can see for yourself what's happening. And it's around the world. You can't go to China without being chipped or being put into their system. Even traveling over there. Because everything is cameras. By next year, they're going to have 400 million cameras all around there. They're installing them in cities in our country right now. You can go look for those poles. There's, tall, there's a tall pole, and it's just got these black lenses all over it. That's the camera system. It's going to watch you 24-7. This new 5G that's coming out is part of that too. They said that 5G only has a 500 foot range. So the federal government is running around putting these little boxes in people's front yards, in the middle of the sidewalk, all over the place. Because they said that 5G is so powerful it only has a 500 foot range. Well why did 4G, and 4G is pretty powerful, why did it go from miles of range, why did it suddenly jump down to 500 feet of range? Well that's not what it is. Those little boxes are designed to track the RFID chip because you can track the, the range on that is only about 500 feet. So they can track and where you're at every minute of every day, whatever you're doing, and they'll know where you are. And they've already got the technology in place. You can go buy a brand new cell phone, no, no uh, card, no activation, put it in airplane mode, turn off the Wi-Fi, and just carry it around with you. As soon as you activate, you're not even activate, just turn on the Wi-Fi so it connects to the internet, that phone that's not activated with no card in it, that phone will transmit data to Google. They're constantly collecting data and they're watching everywhere you go. Literally, will, it will say walking or driving, depending on if you're in a car or you're, you're walking down the road. It's that detailed. Don't believe me? Go look it up. It's on the internet. You can see it. It's right there. People have done tests with this stuff and it's, every time it does that. So, what if the chip isn't the mark? I believe it is and if there's like when the rapture comes if we're all still here the rapture hasn't happened when that mark is made law because Obama tried to do it his health care system there's a provision in there saying people have to be microchipped to keep track of them don't believe me go look it up it's in there and the UN is pushing it also and I believe that that's that's the first step that's the first stage get everybody in the system we have control over them. The whole thing is about control. Then when the Antichrist decides to say, I'm God, y'all are going to worship me. Well, you're stuck. You're in the system. What are you going to do? 
you're going to take a knife and start cutting those things out. Anyway, um, what if it isn't the mark? Okay, what if it isn't? What if that isn't the mark? And everybody gets into this system and everything goes on. Where do you draw the line? Because if you're in that system, that's the next step to worshiping the beast. All the signs that are in the world right now are showing this. So you got to draw a line somewhere. If you're a believer or even not a believer, what do you what do you want to do? How far are you willing to go? If you're not a believer, you have. If you're not a believer, and I said this in my last video. If you're not a believer, make that decision whether you're going to or not going to. Right now, there's people that don't absolutely no. I don't want any part of Christianity. There's people that are 100% into Christianity. Then you have this big gray area. And that's people who are on the fence or have become Christians but are still living that carnal life. They're not changing themselves and getting rid of their sins and trying to elevate themselves up inside in their spirit to be closer to God. That gray area is now getting super small. Massive amounts of people just in the last four weeks are becoming Christians all around the world because they're seeing this. And they're seeing what's happening and what's coming. Um, another another video I'm going to do later about the, the third temple in Jerusalem. They're building it right now. They started underground. No, Everybody thinks it's a um, restoration project for the Temple Mount. Well, they're, re they're actually reinforcing it to hold the extra weight. So they're building the temple. They're just doing it underground. And everything is ready. And as soon as the peace agreement comes out, bam, they're going to put that sucker together. I think they'll have it together in like a month. They have everything so so prepared and ready to go. So you have to you're going to have to come to a decision because it's coming super quick on us. You got to come to a decision. Is is and even as a Christian, you have to come to a decision. Am I going to step across that threshold and take a chance, or am I going to just keep going like I'm going? Um, that's got it's got to be up to you. All I can do is give you the information, and every bit of this is searchable. Go look it up. It's simple. Just start doing Google searches. Go on YouTube and start typing in, and you'll find video after video after video showing what's going on. And if, if it doesn't convince you, well, um, your salvation is between you and Jesus Christ. That's your relationship with Him. If you take that, well, you read the Bible. It'll tell you what you're in danger of. It's simple. Um, Revelation is 24. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God. And which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. That's people who deny the mark. And you hear worship and mark. It's a two-step process. Taking the chip is the first step. And everybody that does have it, uh, they both were cast alive into the lake of fire burning with brimstone. Read the Bible. Find out for yourself. Um... I talked about the co-creator. Look for yourself. I've said that throughout the video. And go look up the videos about that with that co-creator with him talking about it. Um, it the, there are a bunch of them. And he tells you exactly what went on with it on the development of it. And it's been around since the, back in the 80s. This is old technology. They just perfected it and it's finally the right time to put it out. Um, and something I want to throw out there and this will probably be in every video that I make of this series of, of videos. Whatever you guys do, when we're talking about things like this, and if it's on another video in the comments, because I see, a, I, I read the comments to see who's talking about what. Because all of us have a different idea of Scripture, a different interpretation. We see it in a different way. And so, I see a lot of arguments start over that stuff between Brethren, don't do that. Don't argue. Because when you argue, you start causing a dissension. And you can actually cause somebody to walk away from their faith because of those arguments. And you don't want to have you don't want to do that. Uh, the Bible talks about what happens if you push somebody away from the faith. Or if you preach a false doctrine and cause people to fall away. You don't want to do that. Right now is a really bad time for this. Because people are confused and they're on the fence. And they're trying like, well, what does this sign mean? What does this sign mean? And people are going crazy over it. Relax. No fear. There's None of these videos are, are to be for about fear. They're to educate. And they're to tell you, look for these signs. He, Jesus tells us many times in the Bible, look. 
Look for the signs. I'm going to show you these things. And when you see them, look up because your deliverance is not unto you. So don't argue about these little things. Jesus said, don't argue the little truths because when we're in heaven, all knowledge will be made known and all those truths will be made known. And then we won't have, we won't have to worry about it. It's not worth getting into a big argument. Agree to disagree and move on. Because we don't want to cause that love to grow cold. The Bible says in the last days, love will grow cold. And it's happening. I see it happening. And that's this is part of the reason why I'm putting this this these videos out. Because I'm trying to get a word across. Now, I don't know how many people are going to watch them, but it doesn't matter. I feel like I strongly that this has to be done. And be in prayer. If you're confused about what's happening or you're scared, like the blood moon that's coming up on the 20th, relax, guys. Calm down. We may get taken then. We may not get taken then. Relax. If we don't, if the rapture doesn't happen when we think it's going to happen, then that's okay because we'll abide and we'll keep living in the faith and making ourselves better until Jesus comes for us. But I'm telling you, all the signs point that it's super close. The way the world is super fast speeding up and everything is changing. China, a week ago, activated their army and got them ready. Told, uh, what's his name? Told them, be ready for war. Prepare for war. He moved a bunch of his SR-30 missiles platforms down along the border and he sent a bunch of ships and subs down to the South Indian Ocean to fight with our ships and threatened to sink two aircraft carriers. Go look it up. You can see for yourself. That's not well made, that's not known news here in America, but it's happening. China has the, in the Bible it says there will be a 200 million man army that will rise up. China has that 200 million man army. So where, where do you think that comes from? There's Bible prophecy right there in your face being revealed. Go search it out. Go look it up for yourself. And have an open mind, have an open heart. And be neutral when you read through these things. And be in prayer and ask the Lord, show me the truth. Show me what's happening. Show me what this is. And then go into it with a sober mind. No animosity towards anybody or anything like that. And just let it happen. Because he will show you those things. Like he has me and scores of other people. He'll show you what's coming and what's happening. That way you're not tricked. Because he doesn't want anyone to perish. He wants everybody to be saved and come to heaven. But a lot of people absolutely refuse to believe in it. A lot of people absolutely refuse to accept the simple gift of salvation. So that's my video. I'm already at almost 30 minutes here. Um, I didn't mean to get too long-winded, but there's a lot of important information that needs to be put out. And a lot of people are putting it out. But I'm trying to keep these videos short because what I want to do is I'm going to inspire people to go look it up. Go do your own research. Because that touches you more here than me just telling you about it. And it's important to do your own research. The search for knowledge is right next to the search for God. It says it in the Bible. Look it up. So watch what's going on. Look in the world. But don't be fearful. Don't, don't be scared. Don't be frightened. Because if you're in Christ, you're okay. Everything's going to be fine. Anything that's bad that happens, it works to your benefit in the end. So just relax. And... Um, be in prayer about this stuff. Be in sincere prayer. Jesus Christ is your friend. And he's standing right there. You can talk to him like he's your friend. It doesn't have to be some super glorious special prayer or anything like that. Just talk to him. Talk to him. It's that easy. There's nothing to it. Now I'm going to end this video. Uh, I've gone longer than I wanted to. But if you're right now wrestling with whether or not you want to be a Christian or whether you should believe in this, I'm telling you, make this decision. Excuse me. Either way you go, make this, make this decision. Uh, I, I really hope you make the one where you believe and accept salvation through Jesus Christ. I will leave a simple prayer in the, in the description and my email address if you want to email me and talk. But I'll leave a simple prayer in there. And in a privacy, I'm in the friggin' bathroom closet in my house. But if you want to pray privately and pray that prayer and receive that salvation, then you receive it and then watch your life change. And so many things will be made aware to you, and it'll blow your mind. Just don't get overwhelmed. Just, but, but if you're wrestling with that decision, make it. You need to make that decision because the door's closing and the gates are getting, being shut. And it's getting close. It's getting so close. I love you guys. Um, I hope you watch the rest of the videos. 
Uh, I'm not monetizing anything. I don't want any money from this. All I want is to get this information out. So you won't see any, com well, you shouldn't see any commercials unless YouTube puts one on. But anyway, I love you guys very much. I hope that you're blessed by this. I hope you find something in here that gets to you and inspires you to go out and search out the information. And I hope that if you're wrestling with that decision, that you'll, you'll step through that threshold and come and join us because you have um, nothing to lose by being a Christian. But you have everything to gain because if you don't and you fall the other way, um, well, it's, the Bible says how it's going to be. And you don't want to do that. You don't, you don't, hell isn't what you think it is, but that's a subject for another video. Anyway, be safe. Uh, please search out this information. It's for your benefit. It's to help you. And that's why I've been given the information, is to share it. Spread the gospel as much as I can. Faith in Jesus Christ is the only thing that will save you from what's coming. And it's coming quick. So, you guys be safe. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video.